Welcome back to the channel, guys. And as you see, we're back on that 69 Series 2A. And in the last video, we couldn't get the engine to turn over. So we ripped the cylinder head off, and we discovered that thing is knackered. So, today, we're gonna get the engine the rest of the way out so we can figure out what is going on. Son of a gun, she just ain't working right. <laughs> All right, so Ted's got the seat bottoms already out of the way and the floor, the rubber floor. That stuff right there picked up and out of the way. And as you can see, that bulkhead, she's on. She's crispy and ventilated. Ventilated. Yeah, we'll go with ventilated. But, um, to be expected, we figured the bulkhead, after seeing some of the exterior stuff, would be toast. So, just gives us more money to spend, and I'm sure you guys enjoy that. But what we're going to start off with is to get the floors out of the way, and then we'll get the seat box up out of the way. So we can get that transmission right there. That's not really being held up by anything, especially that rusty cross member and that holy frame. Um, we'll get that plucked out of here. So we can get on with getting that guy out of there. That's pretty nifty. So the upper seatbelt mount is also threaded. Had a nut, nut, and then I don't know if you can see that, the inside of it is threaded as well. So it's a little bit entertaining if you go on there with the impact. Rattle it there, we lose some more of the rover onto the ground. She's just, just kind of leaving its mark. All right, so we just have Two bolts on each side left. We'll probably have to zip those off with the old uh, angle grinder. Um, yeah, because those are not wanting to come off. So we'll do that. But other than that, we got the floor pans out, the transmission tunnel, as you can see. Uh, frame rails looking great still. We'll get to that in a minute after the seat box is out. But as you can see, it's loose. So we are getting there. It's in uh, interesting shape. It did have someone make a little nest in there. So at least they kept warm. That's nice. Glad, glad the Land Rover could be of some use to some critter along the way. But on another interesting note, none of the wiring was really touched by any varmint. Everything is still intact so that's neat can we talk or no yeah i would drop this off at pizza on monday hey no no more So that seat box is out and it's in some rough shape too, as to be expected with everything on this. Uh, 
a little crusty inside. But here is some of the interior bits scattered all over. But that gave us plenty more room to get at the transmission and Ted is working on pulling that out. Getting pretty close, drive shaft is off. Front drive shaft is off. Got all the bell housing bolts out. And he's just working on getting it detached from this rusty cross member. And speaking of rust, we get our first good look at just how nice this frame is. And interestingly enough, I think the only thing holding that, whoop, I just broke it. The only thing holding that front cross member underneath the transmission in, there's a couple zip ties. There's one on this side, one on the other side. So that's fine. I don't see a problem there. For all you Land Rover people, have you seen a frame rail that is in worse shape than this? I'd be curious. Let us know down below if this is the worst one you've seen or if this is, this is fine, fine. But uh, either way, yeah, we're getting close to getting that engine out. That's in great shape. So that was, that was the last of what's holding the transmission in place. So hopefully it will get plucked out now somewhere in this general vicinity. All the lock, or all those retainer washers are on except for, or off except for the bottom ones. Well, I'll make them come off. Yeah. Right. Yes. Son of a diddly. That's the proper way to remove one of those. Don't, Don't be yourself now. Oh, here comes oh, the oh. Oh. We got no the video. professional. No video. Here. No video. Just got to pick up a wee bit. There you go. You're hired. My job's done. So the transmission is off the engine. That leaves us with one wiring harness to undo. You still not done with that? No, no, I'm not. Always a critic. Just cause I'm not good at something. Don't scratch it. All right, so Ted has the engine out. We're gonna get the oil drained into this little bucket so we can pull the sump off and see what we got going on underneath. Nothing. Nothing is broke. Everything's fine. Tap the piston back in the hole. Why is the bolt off the rod? Did the piston break? <laughs> the fucking piston broke. Right? Yeah. The piston broke in half. Oh, no. okay, I'll take back. <laughs> Number four. Piston variable compression is up. Variable compression. They were ahead of the time. Number four piston is up. Number four rod is attached and in one piece attached to the bottom of the piston. And if you see, the number four rod is at the bottom of the stroke and the piston's up right there. 
Oh, just yeah, kind of loose on one side. That's interesting. It's got a nine slash one six or fourteen maybe. So, Shirty. It's a Land Rover. You gotta have everything out. Here, like fourteen. <laughs> What's your thoughts? Looks usable yet? What? <laughs> Bearings. In great shape. So there's the number four bearings. Alright, I'll catch. It's further out than it ever was before. Let's get stuck in the hole. Well, she's kind of coming out yeah, it a little catty wampus. Good. <laughs> That's awesome. I don't even, does it even happen? You don't even need to uh, you just hone it. <laughs> I can't believe it did that. So we found our catastrophic failure, and it is what none of us expected. Ted and Tom both were going after connecting rod failure, and I thought the crank broke. So, I mean, we, we all lost, and the biggest loser, was the Land Rover. But yeah, bearing, toast, and piston, broken half. Right below the ring land. Kind of blew itself apart. So that's that that's an interesting interesting thing. Who would have thought? The uh, bore isn't completely chewed up in number four, but with the number four rod and piston out, engine still locked up. So there is more wrong with it than just that. Um, Ted tried to punch cylinder one out. That one's stuck in there. So we'll get this thing on a stand and Tear into it a little more. Son of a gun, she just ain't working right. <laughs> but that leaves us with a still broken Land Rover series with more parts scattered throughout the shop or garage, whatever this is. Um, transmission's out now. That's probably broke too. All we did today Pretzels. <laughs> All we did today was get a better look at our rust, and it's there, and uh, increase the project budget because it just keeps getting more expensive every time you touch it, but as you do. If you want to see more on this Land Rover, like and subscribe. please like and subscribe. Um, subscribe down below, we'll keep going on this thing. It's getting into an interesting state of broken still. But uh, if you found this video entertaining, make sure to give us a thumbs up. Please help. And please help. <laughs> but yeah, make sure to give us the thumbs up. And as always guys, <laughs> Lost Cause Ranch, I should start that. <laughs> but, um, as always, guys, appreciate you watching. Have a good night. Any death threats yet? Not yet. Hopefully soon, though. It's, it's coming. <laughs> what do you know you think? Well, it's literally the, the best is I have to touch my face before I do <laughs> one.